All right, Leanne, you asked a great question here. Leanne asked, if you suspect mold is the cause of health issues, but no visible mold, would it be better to DIY test like an ERMI or with test plates or save that money for an inspector that will then do the test? Would it be good to do a test before the inspector? Well, what I would do first, if you suspect mold is the cause of health issues, is check your body. Because if you check your house first and it comes back fine, that doesn't mean you're not mold toxic. That doesn't mean you're not accumulating mycotoxins. They could have come from a previous house or from school or place of work or church or gym or car. You know what I'm saying? So if you suspect health problems from it, you want to confirm by testing the body first. Uh, and I can put a link to a mycotoxin lab. But your question is about the house. Would it be better to DIY? You absolutely can DIY. I have a 45 minute video. I know it sounds like a lot, but I cover everything you need to make sure you don't mess up doing your ERMI test. I mean, nothing worse than spending all that money and having the lab email you and say, ah, sorry that we can't test that. Um, so you can do an ERMI yourself. You can put out the plates. I despise the plates usually because there's so many variables which make them inaccurate. Um, but on a budget and with the proper conditions, the proper airflow and the proper molds and everything works out and lines up, those plates can be telling. Um, they're very cheap. That's the biggest benefit. Or save that money for an inspector that will do the test. Uh, if you're going to get an inspector in anyway, um, you might as well just have him do, an er do the army. It's up to you. I, I tend to do things myself because I like to have the control to know it's done right. Okay, if you're getting an inspector in, a mold inspector that's just going to do an air quality test, you just wasted your time and money. So make sure if you're getting an inspector in, make sure they have a clue about mold. Make sure they're going to be doing an ERMI, not an air quality test, and uh, to make sure you're not wasting time and money. Okay, and then I uh, lost my place here. Would it be good to test before an inspector? If your inspector is going to do an ERMI for you, there's no need to do it ahead of time. Um, but if you feel comfortable doing it yourself ahead of time and you see you've got, you know, all five of the most toxic molds plus the other big guys too, that kind of puts more weight on the inspector to actually find those sources. Okay. So this is, I know this isn't a clear answer. You asked a lot of questions and there, there's a lot of variables here, but I hope that something I said there gave you some guidance. You can absolutely do it yourself. Make sure you check the body first though. Cause like I said, the worst thing that can come from your question is that you get an all clear on the house when your body's actually mold sick and it's coming from somewhere else. All right, I hope that helps Leanne. Do you have questions about mold in your home or body? Book a consultation with Matt, AKA the Mold Man to guide your home and body to the next level of healing.